<laughs> Hello, uh, so here we are in our matching Christmas t-shirts <laughs> and I'm here with my daughter Caitlin and I'm showing her how to make micro leaves. Caitlin lives in a flat in a city, she's a PhD student and this is a really good way of getting extra nutrients into the diet in an urban setting for pennies. So what we've been collecting are all different kinds of plastic containers that you get in shops for buying food. So mushrooms, tomatoes, that kind of thing, which as somebody who lives in a city, you buy your food from shops. Yeah, a spa town. A spa town. <laughs> she lives in <laughs> It's a city compared to very rural Wales, we'll put it that it, way. Yeah. <laughs> Caitlin has shops on her street. I do, I lives. do, I do. A co-op. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so containers like this um, are the kind of things that she will have in her house as part of the shopping. Now here I've got all different kinds of containers. These ones have solid bottoms and these ones <laughs> We have a family sense of humour. These ones have holes in. And the solid bottom ones are ideal for using on windowsills because they provide a solid tray. So you don't end up with water all over your windowsill window yeah. and your landlord getting cross with you for yeah. doing that. Some containers like this little one here are very convenient because they've got a solid bottom and a holy lid for ventilation oh. and they clip together so this makes a perfect little micro leaf container Excellent. whereas other ones you just kind of work out what you fancy so you can use the solid base as the tray and then pop that on as a lid okay or you can use it as a tray and then if you've got one which came with a lid like this one did you then put that inside like that but you're making like a little gr mini greenhouse all of your very own oh how exciting you've got a <laughs> whole new hobby now I the do. winter evenings will fly by so can't get it open <laughs> now <laughs> so different kinds of seeds now i've been rummaging in my seed drawer for seeds that make good micro leaves and I've got peas, um, broccoli, um, spring onions, they make really nice zingy sprouts, uh, different kinds of rock kit, beetroot, alfalfa, radish, like cabbage and also I've got in this jug here these are like all the old brassica seeds ah. which are going out of date so yeah. I've replaced them but they're worth growing on as a micro leaf. Now micro leaves are really nutrient dense so although you only get maybe three pickings from quite a lot of leaves you're getting a really good um, nutritious zing, that lovely fresh food that you can sprinkle on everything you eat, put it in sandwiches, top of potatoes, whatever you fancy. Just Brilliant gnaw at it and pretend, Eat it straight from the <laughs> pretend you're a sheep yes. <laughs> so two ways of doing it one is compost which is what i'm going to do now but also if you don't have compost you can use kitchen roll and line the bottom of the tray with that a few layers of kitchen roll would you like to Lovely. demonstrate you can put what that on top it needs a couple of oh layers. it needs a couple of layers yeah and then moisten it with the squirty bottle. <laughs> <laughs> squirty bottle is better than using a jug just because then you don't flood everything. And then sprinkle on a nice thick layer. Do a quick demonstration, you know, thick like that. Thick, a bit thicker than that even. A thick layer of the seed. Oh, it's a bit wobbly, is it? Yeah. Just, just keep chucking it on. Poke it fine. down a bit. Is that enough? A bit, more. a bit more. Yeah, you want it thick like a forest. Thick like a forest. Yeah. And then 
that's that's fantastic right and then squirt it again with your squirty bottle pop on the lid and there you are and that one needs a tray and how long will it take for them to grow? It will take uh, probably, they'll start seeing them sprouting in three to five days. Oh. And it will take anything between a week and three weeks, depending on the actual sprout. Excellent. And then when it's sprouted, cut it with a pair of scissors, mm. like um, dressmaking scissors, little scissors. Yeah, yeah. Cut it off, then let it regrow. And you should get three goes. And when it's finished, oh, you can wow. put it in the food waste composting bin from your council. Oh, fantastic. Here, I would put it in my own compost bin. And for all of the seeds, do you put a really thick layer on? Yeah. Yeah. You want okay. it nice and thick, like a little, your own little forest. And I can use black mustard seeds. Uh -huh. Aha. Thank uh -huh. you for spotting those. <laughs> so if, like Caitlin, you are not a gardener and you live not. in an urban situation. Yes and you're not going to have a drawer full of seeds no i look. don't <laughs> i do not have a drawer of seeds look to your spice cabinet there's <laughs> lots of whole spices that make fantastic micro leaves here i've got fenugreek great i don't know why i'm holding this because <laughs> you love it so black mustard seed okay coriander uh, fennel is also a good one good and instead of using peas that would be used for growing peas in the garden mm -hmm. when you're in your local shop look for marrow fat peas usually they, they come in a cardboard box and it says mm. marrow fat peas okay and they make the most fantastic pea shoots oh, so they're yeah. like the pea shoots down here okay but you're going to grow them in a little box if you're not using the uh, kitchen roll and you've got some compost then this is how you would make one should we use the little one because yes. i like that the little one's lovely. just move that so if you open it then what you want to do is just put about a centimeter of compost at the bottom okay it's always important to throw some on the floor <laughs> a little bit more and then squirt it What do you fancy growing in that? Um, what about the um, fenugreek? I don't know. Can you do a mix of them? You can do a mix what of them. What should we do a mix? Okay. Well, do you want to choose some from in there? Let's do, let's do sprouting broccoli, pea shoots and alfalfa. Okay. Like a rainforest of seeds. But off you go. It's your own biodiversity in a plastic pot. I can't wait. <laughs> and then it's great because you can just cut it straight off if you've got a mix of seeds and you've got a salad kind of pre-mixed. Yeah. Right, I've got some alfalfa. Uh, some pea shoots. Oh, these are quite big. Do I need to press them into the Yeah, just push them onto soil. the surface a bit. How many do you think I can get away with in here? Because do they grow quite big? Well, you can see down there, There's can't you? Back. So, yeah, maybe put six in. Because you want the other ones to be able to yeah. grow through. And some little broccoli sprouts. Broccoli. few of them or not that many because I've already got quite a lot on there or do I want more no that's fine that's fine and then you pop your lid on and there you are a whole little vegetable garden in a pot so small you can even take it out with you I can I could put it in my handbag <laughs> <laughs> I can bring it to the pub and I've got a portable side salad fantastic <laughs> 
so improve your <laughs> health by taking your salad with you wherever you go in a yes. plastic tub. So I think you're onto something there. <laughs> Porter salad, we can call it. Trademark. Well, yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first. So, also, in all seriousness, this is a great way for people to grow healthy, nutritious, delicious salads on their windowsills in urban spaces. All you need is a bit of light and some tubs. You can, of course, use shop-bought tubs, but... Mm. It's... Can you use cardboard tubs? I was going to ask, because I get lots of those from mushrooms. You know when you buy mushrooms? They will rot. They will rot, okay. So I want to so if you used ones. a cardboard one and put it inside one of here, these, yeah. um, it will... You could actually sow the seeds onto it because oh, it's okay. cardboard as long as it's moist and use it as your kind of compost face. Yeah. But you wouldn't want to put it directly on the windowsill because it will go it will all apart. soggy and then you'll ruin the paint and yeah. you'll get into trouble. Yeah. So. Lovely, well, I've learnt something new. <laughs> <laughs>